Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, Rocket League goes clear and dark, question mark, then Humble drops another outrageous bundle. However, there's a decided lack of holograms. Takes the sexiest of men to port the sexiest of games, even if it just means clicking export. And RPSC, RPCS3 gets some hate mail. At less, feelings were only hurt this time. Valve takes over 170 games down at once, but the quote-unquote developer uh, doesn't hold it against them, and Interstellar Marines is back from the dead. Not really. I'm Vince Stone, here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel, popping in, running the board, and all that fun stuff. Joined every week, you know him, you love him, that's our man up north, our Canadian, he's our tamed Canadian podcaster. I'm supposed to be fasting, apparently, I guess. <laughs> you I, I, had a TIL <laughs> on that. And all the way from Hello. Britannia, across the pond, on his island. The, the <laughs> idol, um, the, what do they call them? Like the Put- Put- uh, Gulliver's Travels? I forget what they uh, the, the Lilliputians? Yeah, the little patrons. I don't know. And together with Shadrun <laughs> Dynamic, helping us form that last little, most special bit. Known as Cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we do like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. Gentlemen, what's been going on, man? I've been I've I've been writing lots of Docker code and whatnot. That's that's been my week most of it. Oh, and I got I got to work from home for most of the week too, because the AC in the office was busted. So I got to <laughs> I, I basically I set up the cool zone where I built like a cardboard funnel <laughs> and attached it to the air conditioner and then sat in front of that for about three days. It's nice. Been, yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Pedro? Over here, I, uh, well, I've been, most of my free time has been dedicated to testing the one laptop I have for review still, which I need to send back soon. So I'm just getting as much testing done as I possibly can. And just to throw a curveball, then kind of ask me, oh, yeah, you should totally do that uh, render test that we have in Shut Realm Static. Like, oh, right. <laughs> Run that a few more times. But as it turns out, pretty fast. Go figure. Yeah, and uh, it's not not using the CPU to encode. That. It is, it is. It actually pegs all of the uh, the threads. And yes, but it's also going to not... use the video engine for. There's no way a two core four thread part with such an anemic multi threaded score is beating seventy seven hundreds Pedro. But that's the thing. Uh, the way a handbrake does encodes, it's single uh, single jobs and a single thread divided amongst all threads so single threaded is where it's at i can and if show you, look you every at other single, single benchmark in the entire world showing that against 7700 oh just get a fucking yeah, fuck room off, Jordan. We're, in the, we're, we're trying to talk you interrupting cow <laughs> um but yeah if you look at the single thread hey look we're just done with that conversation because you refuse <laughs> to listen to any logic whatsoever over here i've been tearing apart the caching system on our web zone and replacing it with a new one and making it work with our Cloudflare CDN and all the stuff that hopefully you'll never see. But if you notice anything egregiously broken, let me know. Cause maybe I missed it, but, um, has, has the horse, uh, repaired itself? No, I think the horse is trying to investigate why, uh, you know, a two core CPU can outperform a 7,700 K with some, I don't, I don't know. I, I give up. It's the steam. steam! Linux. Linux. Update. Update. Uh, Update. All right. Yeah, so uh, Valve did a thing, like a sizable thing. Uh, they removed 173 games from Steam, well, games, quote unquote, hmm. uh, as a. Because you may have heard, uh, if you follow Sid Alpha, there it is, uh, on YouTube, you may have heard that there was a developer that was going by a bunch of different names and uploading tons and tons of asset flip games. To like Steam, and one of them, one of the names that they used was Silicon Echo. Um, and basically, Valve caught wind of that, and a lot of people started reporting the games. And basically, Valve said, You know what? We're not going to deal with this. Just sack him, get rid of him. And that was all well and good until the developers, quote unquote, uh, responded uh, from um, K Mines. Uh, that's a site I've never heard of until today, but 
Uh, yeah, no, uh, they tried to get in touch with the Silicon Echo Studios, and they did. They did. Uh, and they replied saying basically, uh, oh, we don't hold it against Valve, but we have proof of purchase of all the assets that we bought of the Unity Asset Store, so our games are legitimate. And we do have the one game that we're uh, actually working on, our big project. It was kickstarted, got over $10,000, and it was greenlit. It's about 85% done, and we were just like... A month or two totally away from releasing it you guys so this is really mean but we don't hold it against valve that's what that sounded like so the, so they're going to itch is what i what, what i'm taking away from this <laughs> pretty much yeah uh, i could definitely see this man i mean when, when this rock and rolled my first response was so fucking what i mean has anyone genuinely looked at like the new release section lately i since they've noped green light because no, no. here, here's the thing w- with green light, you know, there was that not point, not, not 1% chance of the just people being able to vote shit off the island. And now that's not there. And it's very depressing to sort by new releases. Even on Linux, we're getting flooded with this bullshit too. Oh yeah. Ever since steam direct became the thing it's like oh you got a hundred bucks all right you pay a hundred bucks and you can submit as it turns out over 50 games at once good times good I, job I mean, Val. This, this is the this is the quality problem that like something like the android store has and i don't i don't think there's really a good way around it too just because there's so much garbage that was flooding out all the legitimately good stuff in green light there's there's not real it, it, now it's, it's just garbage flooding space. out good games in the actual store that's not better. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that it's a complicated issue, Pedro. There's there's no room for nuance on Linux Gamecast, am I right? Oh. No. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? <laughs> Longer than I have. You should know this. Shush you. Uh, why don't you two just make out, hey man, we got some patch notes. Version 1.37 of Rocket Cars, a.k.a. the Autumn Update. Hey, it's the, here, the autism update. Autism update, man. <laughs> show title. Banks suggest those show titles, people. Uh, headlines. Farmstead map. Don't work. All right. Technically, it works, but you can't see any of the farmstead. It's just all blacked out. That kind of went through q <laughs> At and least a. it wasn't just me. Accelerator crate. That's been added. 90 free new items added. So if you like collecting that bullshit, that, that's a thing. Uh, main menu, redesigned UI. The biggest thing with this that I, I just wanted to come take a look at was uh, we talked about it several weeks back was this the transparent goals or as i like to call it leet wall hacks yo and um i I just don't know we're gonna find out tonight how i feel about the transparent and uh, oh yeah one thing the director camera the beta version of that spectator camera it's supposedly kind of smart now just a bit clever so yeah, I'm kind of excited to play around with this at, in in the after shows because we always have more than enough people wanting to play, and we'll see how it breaks. When I uh, loaded Wonder- it up initially, bad timing, Rocket Cars, because all their servers went down, <laughs> and uh, it, yeah, I couldn't really do much right there. But what would be interesting is if we get like the uh, the old box of business set up as a stream box, we could run Rocket League on that and have that in spectator mode, and then y'all could mm-hmm. play. Yeah, that would be, that, possibilities are endless. You you get on that, buddy. Um, <laughs> I, I I will send me your computer. <laughs> I'll just put a postage stamp on it. It's like, oh yeah, that's absolutely. <laughs> hey, UPS, don't drop this. Right. Um, don't 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 shake it too much because it's a uh, yeah, it'll snap in half. Pedro, what do you what do you think? I think. Uh, Okay, more content is always good, and they do also add, like, uh, new drops, the uh, cosmetic drops that they do. Whenever you finish a game, you get, like, a hat or a banner or rims for your car, and they've added, like, 90 free of those. Uh, So even if you have been playing the game for an ungodly amount of time, now you get even more stuff to keep you playing, so that's always player retention is a good thing. They have a new crate! Because, hey, gambling mechanics, but it's totally not gambling, you guys. Not, not until you start up a website about gambling Rocket League crits. Um, do, be- do you know what's <laughs> always been a gamble? Well, what, was, what was that? Um, dating guys with kids. Uh, dating anyone with kids, really. Know. 
So, mm. so we, we, we've talked about this before, Dream Daddy. It's the Game Grumps game that they put out. Uh, it finally has a Linux version, which uh, took a little too long considering it's Unity. They handed it off to the sexiest of all not dads, Mr. Ethan Lee. So <laughs> he has helped uh, click export, uh, did some bug validation, and now you can go pick up this dad dating simulator and play it under Linux. Um, mm-hmm. But really, we need we need the Linux versions of like Who's Your Daddy and Shower with Your Dad Simulator, and we'll just have the Dad Trifecta, all sorts of awkward. Admittedly, dad I was a little bit confused here because it's not Glib CoS. The operating system <laughs> nope. is if, if you're running the Steam client, you're good OS. Uh, <laughs> because I mean, it's not FNA. Uh, it's it's, it's a it's a bold claim. Hopefully, it'll live up. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can play that game on my ThinkPad, even though the Steam client runs. Pretty sure I can play that game. I don't know. Uh, I mean, um, outside of the um, bits of things, seven dateable dads, dad character creator, create your dad, Sona. Oh, wow. Um, oh, so, oh, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's all about just hot dads and doing them. Yeah. So th- this is like Hootie Pop, right? I mean, there's there's an actual game buried behind the bullshit. No, I think this, this one's just like a straight up dating sim. Huh. Yeah, this is a dating sim. <laughs> all right. Hey, that, that that's a thing currently available fourteen ninety nine. So, uh, mm, uh, I I, I want to throw some chairs. This do like a double feature with Angels of Scaly Wings. Yeah, I am yeah. kind of curious to see just um, if Game Grumps were involved with the production or if they also acted. Uh, the, apparently, uh, they do the... act in this game. Yeah. Oh, hmm. okay. All right. So, yeah, no, that's yeah, that that's probably worth it. Yeah. Could be. Um, let, let's talk about a bunch of games that would be a lot funner if they had multiplayer. Well, the, it's it's a little interspersed because one one of, one of the middle ones has uh, multiplayer. Yeah. But anyways, this is this is Captain Caveman. It's a shoot 'em up style arcade platformer. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, a, a little bit of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like the arcade game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it ha- it has the local multiplayer. It's an arcade style shmup, but. Honest, honestly, what this boils down to, and we're just going to be screaming this for about 15 minutes throughout this entire segment, is developers, if you think your game will be fun with local multiplayer, you should add online multiplayer. Yes. No, no, no ifs, ands, or buts. If you think this game is fun with multiplayer, add an online multiplayer functionality. Because there are so many games that say, that I, I look at, oh, this looks awesome. Is, and it has multiplayer? Oh, but I need to actually get people in neat space to come to my house and play it. Yep. That was definitely one of the things I was thinking about when we were talking back and forth in the show notes, is it is genuinely easier to organize people on different continents and different time zones around the world to play video games than it is to get three people who were over at your house to all mm-hmm. agree to play, to sit down and play meet space then get them all to agree on the same damn game this is true this right? is true yeah. 100%. unless you unless your game has already has the sort of wide ranging mass appeal like rocket cars although that's a bad example because you know online multiplayer but yeah unless your game already has that sort of it's already in people's minds and people know about it and they kind of curious to try it you're not going to do very well if you imagine you have like three or four friends over and you say, oh, let's play Caveman Warriors. And they go at you like, don't you have Rocket League installed? Let's play that instead. Mm-hmm. Or or let's 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 play um, Gang Beasts or something like a game that people yeah. actually know about. But you know, something if- uh, w- w- when you're talking about Rocket Cars is something I forgot to mention. It was a bit of a TIL. And I was like, how did you not know this? Vin? Uh, maybe somebody else there didn't. You can disable a cross platform play so you don't have to play with a. Um, PlayStation balls of autism, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I, I mean, Rock, we, we, we have confirmed that Rocket League does, in fact, give you autism. So don't get vaccinated yeah. and play Rocket League, or else you're just going to die. You'll implode, but, man. But uh, <laughs> com- coming up autism. next, we got another game that needs uh, network multiplayer, Lancelot, Enhanced Edition. Enhanced Edition? Uh, no. Uh, anyways, it, it's, it's basically a game where you joust. Joust your friends in a bunch of crazy levels with, on rockets. It sounds yeah, fun. Yeah, you can actually except, fire except, your uh, lance as a rocket. Yeah, except I can't play it with you guys. So why should I even bother picking it up? That's that's basically uh, it. That's, you shouldn't. That's I, I kinda think it kind of falls under the... Uh, that's a damn shame because it looks 
fucky, and we do like ourselves some fucky games. Oh, absolutely! It's it looks like it's we just played a lot of uh, golf with your friends, so yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we play a lot of Rocket League, which is like the premier fucky game. <laughs> so let's I, see, what, what's it currently run? Uh, it, 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 it's it's about ten bucks Canadian. It's it's uh, uh, six it ninety nine uh, uh, pounds or six twenty nine since it's ten uh, percent off. They they do say you need a dedicated NVIDIA GPU. So sorry, Mesa users, you can go fuck yourselves. Apparently, no oh, man. Very much. No, I mean I, I completely agree with you. Um, looks cool but i'm not gonna buy it because there's no multiplayer and it i always feel creepy uh when i bug my neighbor i'm like yo man can i borrow your kid <laughs> i need to test multiplayer out so just um, don't uh don't teach them how to do illegal things <laughs> i am illegal things <laughs> uh, and one, one one more game that we're gonna we're gonna shit on for not having online multiplayer. <laughs> this is uh, Ninja Showdown, Showdown, apparently. No, actually, uh, this one does. Uh, this one, uh, single player, multiplayer. Oh, yeah, I guess it does have online. So this yeah. one does have on <laughs> online multiplayer. But it's essentially just Towerfall Ascension with ninjas. Which, yep. not a terrible concept, all things considered. Um, yeah, but and yes, unlike you, Towerfall, which didn't have online multiplayer, this one does. Well, do, okay, we, we, we know that Ethan can sort of slide in online multiplayer, and it's kind of fucky. Do we want to try that out with Towerfall? <laughs> uh, let's see. He did that with uh, Charlie Murder and uh, Vampire Dishwasher Smile. Smile. Yeah. yeah. Dishwasher so Simile. So maybe? But, but, but anyways, at, at, least, at least someone clued in. The, <laughs> the, the, these freaking idiots in Balaclavas actually put together a okay looking game with some online multiplayer you can pick it up for in and around 16 bucks that's a little steep mm. Mm. yeah i don't know yeah, I mean, no, might be something uh, i didn't actually at. notice the price but yeah no that's a bit much it, it, it does dr- require DirectX under linux though so <laughs> it, it does require those dx9 compatible shaders everyone so be ready for that now um let's talk about some updates and some things coming or just arriving on steam starting with something i don't know man it's like it called to me it was like, you need to check and see if this game's still around like ironically they had recently made a post and that yep. post definitely Which we missed uh last week definitely rhymed <laughs> this with week, no. hey guys we're still <laughs> yeah, around and- Last week, uh, I remember we mentioned Interstellar Marines when we compared it to another game that was totally dead. Uh, and, well, I think the developer was listening because he said Interstellar Marines is not dead. He's working on uh, Update 27. And I say developer, singular, because there is one person left working on the game. So it, this is it, one it, of those it, games. It's, it's more of a fraction of a developer, though, because Homeboy says he's going to learn how to code and finish the game. Yeah. Well, <laughs> while working as, like, a kind of medical assistant, I guess. But, you know, it's all well and good. Everyone's got to eat. But... This this is you read this as you run as Ven likes to say you're running through the deep bullshitatron. This game won't get finished ever. Pack it up, because yeah. This is, and this while is the, this is this is the definition of the sunk cost fallacy. So much money, time, and effort has gone into making this product, and it's wasted. Most of the development team has gone and fucked off. You're not going to be the hero. You're not going to be the William Wallace. He's going to scream freedom and get your game finished. This isn't going to happen. Just say sorry, guys. We can't do it. You put our faith in us. And we failed you. Try again next time. Yeah. And while we're on the Devil Shadow Tron, uh, this uh, part of the update, they say the next short term goal is to finally get Update 27 out. Update 27 is centered mostly around expanding our combat sandbox arena called War Games and fixing as many of our bugs as possible. Translation PUBG is doing really good, so we want some of that money, yo. No, no. I, I mean, it could be PUBG, but. I think the important thing to take away from this is let this serve as a lesson to any studio that thinks staying in early access, perpetual early access. This thing has been early access since before early access, like seven plus years. This thing has not been finished. Mm -hmm. It's not a sustainable business model, Brad. It's just not because even even your hardest core fans, they're going to nope the hell out at some point. They're they're like nothing is happening here and during the seven plus years of development um 
Little to no progress. None of that's been made, uh, especially in the last four. And the only person remaining still saying we as in a team, team doesn't exist anymore. Uh, he's the idea guy. And it seems yeah. like the rest of the team kind of got tired of his ideas and uh, moved on to actually creating games instead of sitting around. I mean, Pedro, I know you remember. They were in their forums bragging about how this would never leave early access. Yeah, they said that there was absolutely no reason to get out of early access. Hmm. Because they didn't well, say it in exactly these words, but they were basically bragging about the fact that as long as they were in early access and they could keep that content coming, they were immune from all criticism because you can't legitimately criticize an early access game because it's never going to be finished. Oh, they were wrong, Bitches. all right. Oh, <laughs> they were wrong. And now this game is dead. It's got an average, according to Steam charts, it's got an average of 3.9 players over the past 30 days, concurrent players. I, so I, it's so that guy I, I, and three I, I, of his I, I bet you. I bet you, though. How much of that is the, this This guy has, like, three Steam accounts? He's That's been, exactly what I wow. said. It's like, it's this guy and three of his mates. <laughs> that's definitely a thing but we did mention PUBG and PUBG is kind of important I personally think it's kind of important because we've noticed a lot of sandbox survival games now that PUBG has just taken the fuck out of all of them and that's the thing to play even though it's not available on Linux um, it's caused a lot of these other games that have just lingered in early access and states of flux caused them to pull a summer and get their shit together back on track Trying to get some of that sweet, sweet PUBG love. Um, so is Rust, a game that, uh, what's his name? Gary uh, Newman. Gary, yeah. Gary Newman himself sent to us. Floppy um, wieners, man. <laughs> Flop. it, it, it was so graphic that they had to turn on wiener blurring by default. Hey, man, uh, I, I tried it. I started it up to see what this was all about. I was curious to see how it ran on the Ryzen system. Mm -hmm. and you know from the creator of uh it's face punch so w gary's mod yeah and that's all this thing and uh it started couldn't get into a game i waited like two minutes for it to like sync and work but then again the linux version's always been kind of janky as hell built on the unity and uh they got a bunch of new updates they got a bunch of progression they're like hey us too we're adding shit Honestly, I didn't go through it because I could. I, I'm just not into these fucking games. You, this is the one where you start with the caveman dick and a rock, and so so just the caveman dick. You mean, yeah, yeah, basically. Hey Let's see, what are they? Have? Base renovations, car chair, they, right? Apparently, they, they've yeah. added cars. No more map items. Yep, raid you balance. Can cars. That's they, been they, a while. They, they got rid, they got rid of the map, so now that they're now there's just a, a map mode as opposed to the item. That Large fair displacement. I'm just gonna stay the fuck out of that one. Um, <laughs> oh, they, they have barbecue now. You can you can make a barbecue. Oh, look! Apparently, yeah. this thing's kind of like a, a Minecraft simulator. They have a RAM usage info system here. <laughs> <laughs> and it also installs Java while it's added too. Yeah, Raw that's not a Minecraft simulator. That's uh, oh shit, we're actually springing memory leaks left and right. Let's just add this and call it a feature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, garbage collection is our feature. Yeah. Good job, guys. Hey, man. But uh, but you know, speaking 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 of collections, uh, we're talking about uh, space pirates, zombies. Oh yes. Yeah. That so was they one of have... the very first games that showed up on Linux on Steam. Yeah. You, uh, if you picked up one of the early Humble Bundles, that was mm -hmm. one of the first games that you uh, had access to uh, uh, for Linux. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, it got a Humble port, so at least they're keeping up with Linux support, even though this is really just a Unity game, so they had to click export and do some testing. So they put up a thread on their forums. They're looking for people's hardware information so that they know what kind of stuff they can um, look out for, notes to add, so they can cobble together some decent system requirements before they put it up on their early access page. So, and I, I just got to say this, don't even think about doing that. Just put it out there. Say, we have Linux support. It's busted, but we're in early access. So give us bug yeah, reports. That's, that's exactly, one, what, that's one thing that's you, exactly what early access is for. That's mm -hmm. one thing you can rely Linux on Linux users for. They will give you fucking bug reports. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. And a lot of developers, unfortunately, look at that. It's like, well, only get Linux bug. No, 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 no. You will get bug reports about your game. They're vocal. They're going to write back because they love you and they care that you're taking the time to get the game up and running. Whereas yep. Windows users are like, hey, I got 90,000 other games. I, what about what? 
And it's uh, whenever I see a developer complain about, oh, we were getting like 97% of our bug reports were coming from Linux and we only had like 5% of purchases. Yeah, that tells me two things. First of all, your Linux version was busted and needed fixing. And hey, you have, even though you have a teeny tiny Linux market share, those few people actually care enough about your game that they're helping you improve well, it. They, they and also you're shitting out. on their face. I, I think it's important to remember. It's like, oh, Linux sales are kind of bad, even though we released a year and a half after launch. That yeah, too. After, after all the initial communities gone, especially for multiplayer games, that's kind of the death. Oh, yeah. Well, absolutely. With multiplayer games. And there's been games that well, we're going to release. The, and by the time the Windows, not the Windows, but the Linux version gets released, I'm like, hey, the hype's gone around the game. Yeah. I, I don't really, I mean, I'll, I'll play it to make sure it runs, but I'm, I'm not going to, it's not as fun when all the buzz is around it. Yeah. yeah when when and, there's hype around the game and it's the, usually a the, good thing. It, it's a it's a double edged sword though because sometimes in like really hard games or like episodic games you'll get everything at once. But still, your point is incredibly salient. Uh, yeah. The fa the fact remains though that like again, like Pedro said, these are, these are engaged customers who actually can't give a shit about your product, and you should you would do well to pay attention to them because those are the people who are going to stick around. So I think we should yeah. say good on them, good developer. Yeah, yeah. good good developer. Have a cookie. Space Coming pirates on and zombies team. Neat. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, the Super Nintendo Classic just got released, so Atari wants a slice of that pie. And we talk about the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. I, I know this is like the one thing we get political about here, guys. So get ready for some politics. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody on the internet that's watching this right now. You lot are awesome. And there's a few specific subset of you that are even more awesome because you keep giving us money. I don't know what we did, but you do give us money. So thank you. So, so I, th I think the main thing is we promise to torture ourselves and then record it. And a bunch of these freaking sadists on the internet are all like, yeah, yeah, I'm super into that. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to be one of those weird, weird cracked out sadists, you can head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Click the support the shows button. We got Amazon affiliate links. We got a wish list that's getting emptier and emptier. Maybe buy then that mixer so that he can, you know, <laughs> rage on on stream. We got PayPal donate buttons. We got a Bitcoin link if you want to send us some magical internet monies. And of course, we got patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast, the coolest and most sexy way to support us. We're at uh, 107 Patreons, giving us 208, uh, 208 episodes a dollar. There you go. That's <laughs> yes. <in> English. <laughs> Every, every every dollar you spend is two hundred. No, that that that's false advertising. <laughs> but we're we're forty we're forty two dollars away from getting a merch run. So if you ever wanted some LGC swag, uh, that's the way to go. We're dangerously approaching the end of our freaking legitimate goals before we start hitting log cabins and Pedro making nude portraits of me, even though we're both <laughs> naked at the time. Hey man, we uh, even threw some things in there. We got the uh, full ten minute slim book review. I I kind of tossed that uh, train wreck up. If you want to take a look at it. And uh, Left for Bread too. We got a new episode of that. We live streamed it yesterday. Two hundred and forty-two patron-only post, and uh, that's not all. Don't they get access to like live audio and? Yeah, they get access to oh, live yes. audio. There's a ton of uh, exclusive content. We got like game. Uh, we got Doctor Who commentary tracks. We got all sorts of crap that you just gain access to. Two fifty uh, an episode gets you access to the show note. You can start making uh, suggestions, like Mister Arthur, and who finally showed up mm -hmm. for a Linux Gamecast <laughs> recording. Good on him for that. Uh, I do. We, I guess we got to thank uh, Romlock though, because he gave us a bunch of copies of Voxel Turf. Hey, oh man. yeah, <laughs> he gave everyone Voxel Turf. Th thanks, man. And also, I definitely want to thank everyone for uh, blowing up our Amazon affiliate links as of late. You all know who you are. Um, one person even contacted me and it's like, yo, um, I, I'm going to start ordering through Amazon. And they did. I don't know if they want. Let me know. Like, ring me back up, girlfriend, and I'll make sure you get a plug for that. But I don't know if you do or not. So always better sorry than safe. And I think I mentioned it maybe like last week or a week before somebody said uh, to do the new egg affiliate link. I looked into that. That's a third party, whatever. It's just like Nightmarotron. Sorry, man. Thanks for the offer, though. Um, that that's just no, not going to happen. Our, our, our oh yeah, uh, you get a custom oh. RSS feed if you become a patron. Access to our oh, Discord. Yeah. yeah, I mean we we do an extra 
Jeez, man, we're like 36 episodes of a show you probably never heard. So if you like this bullshit, oh, mm-hmm. man, it's the closest thing <laughs> we do to an actual production meeting every week to what we're going to be up to. completely unfiltered. <laughs> it is. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely say some things in there that uh, are too hot for this show even. Uh-huh. All right. Um, as I ha- 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 Hashtag sexy aunts. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, so hang on, hang on. God damn it. Uh, if we get organized with this, it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, Frank. Frank's rocking off because Frank's got a fine upstanding cannibal wall. He's kind of brilliant. He's grew a mustache, man. I don't know. He came back from choir practice on Wednesday with that damn thing. Are you sure uh, that's uh, Frank uh, and like not little, his little uh, cousin, Franco? The, 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 I thought it was evil Frank at first, but it was. it's <laughs> not a full goatee. But, you know, we got Bradley, Jill and Steve, Maddie, Erod, Michael G., John M., Mr. Red, Lennox Nuru, Clonkia, Steve-O, at the Admiral JT, and, of course, the fine, fine Trucklswick. Uh, most of these people are watching this live right now because they are awesome. It's kind of brilliant. Um, uh, all right, let's 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 go to the news then. So, uh, like I said before the break, the Super Nintendo Classic just came out. I actually had two coworkers who camped out to get theirs because they're a bunch of freaking nerds. <laughs> Um, but Atari decided, hey, we want to get back into the console business. We just we want to we want to go full on Chuck E. Cheese. And so they're thinking about creating the Atari box, which they consider to be a sort of open gaming platform uh, powered by AMD running Linux. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting some. I'm getting some. Hey man, you need to quit being rude because they're going to use there's there is a real wood edition giggity. <laughs> <laughs> All you I know, read was, you know, it, we'll it, run it's Linux bespoke. on advanced it's micro devices hard. processor and will cost 250 to 300 bucks. Listen, man, does you that look bought. like a face that would lie or be able to say the alphabet backwards? <laughs> no. Uh, he, he looks like someone who maybe has a hard drive full of stuff we shouldn't be asking questions about. That's, yes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I'm going to say. But but anyways, uh, they, they seem Atari seems to want to get back into this. Um, th- I mean, there's already this void's already kind of been filled because you have like Android set, set top boxes like the Shield or even kind of like the Nintendo Switch, or you can just get a Raspberry Pi with RetroArch, and it will do more or less what this thing is going to do. I guess having an actual x86 processor theoretically would make this a little better. But again, you run into the thing with like the Smock Zero, where the hardware is just not going to be great for most of the games you want to play on the couch. No, I mean, I think that really does kind of roll into the whole concept of even 250 300 bucks, you can't build a box that's really going kind of like the Smash Zero, like you just said, man. It's going to be able to do anything. And here, here's I have a, here, a here, MacBook here. using uh, an AMD APU from 2009 that yeah. costs around that much. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's Nintendo released... The NES Mini and now the SNES Mini, you know, 65, 70, wet, stinky American caches. They made a killing. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers over at Atari in name only, really. This is not yeah, the Atari. Because old. this is not actual Atari. Yeah, and they rock out and they're like, hey, everybody, let's go full retard because pe- nostalgia, right? They'll, they'll spend 200 bucks on. Th- th- on, on games you can play in your browser. Yeah, or on seriously, your phone. quit yes. laughing. I mean, does this thing come with a Jaguar um, emulator? <laughs> it. it- could it, 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 uh, it, 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 but but again you could you could accomplish the same thing for 50 bucks with the raspberry pi mm-hmm. oh yeah raspberry pi 3 done <laughs> that really that, does seem the like the uh, most common thing i've heard is people say yeah i could my raspberry pi already does all this so yeah <laughs> It's, it's and the only people uh who are buying the nintendo uh snes mini are you know the nostalgia crowd really mm-hmm. yeah you, you you can't even you no number one you can't even use the super nintendo controllers because they're using the custom usb header or whatever yep. that's probably still usb and number two you can't even use the controllers that come with the super nintendo classic in the actual goddamn super nintendo which would be a reason to buy it here's the thing though will my sega genesis controllers work with the atari box we'll we'll find out uh, if, if you have the usb it. adapter maybe <laughs> Well, I'm just saying my Sega Genesis controllers worked with the 2600. And and vice versa. Can you, can you yeah, plug in the yeah, Atari yeah, controller yeah. to this thing and play your games? Mm-hmm. Stranger things have happened. Um, <laughs> hey, somebody's taking another crack at doing something that the infrastructure's not in place for. Indeed. Uh, and this yeah. story actually comes from uh, one of our lovely, lovely uh, contributors, uh, Steven. And he uh, let us know about Jump, 
which uh, they self-proclaim to be the Netflix for games. It's not the first time we've heard of that. Or, and for, for, or indie games. You got you to qualify that because you're not playing PUBG or uh, or GTA 5 over this. No, yeah, sir. I will get to that in a moment. Uh, so this is a streaming game service, which uh, right now only seems to have mostly um, indie games. Very low requirement indie games because of the way that they use uh, their streaming technology. Uh, manages to make most games boot up within 60 seconds. So that's good. And it is, uh, they claim to have very little latency. So that is also a very good thing because latency when it comes to playing video games, kind of a big deal. Uh, but yeah, they say, even though they say uh, right now they only have indies, they plan on introducing like bigger games, AAA games. But of course, that w- that is bound to increase the loading time and latency is going to be an issue because there's a higher video bitrate coming at you at any point. So yeah, there's going to be issues that they will have to uh, work around. And right now they're already going big and claiming that they're better than the Xbox Game Pass and they're better than the uh, PlayStation Plus and all that. And, and here, claims... Here, here, here. And here, here's the thing, though. Like, even a minute is asking a lot in terms of waiting for people to waiting for people to wait for a game to load, uh, right? Like, there there is some statistic that got fired up. That's so probably not bullshit. But... I mean, if you come from my generation, you remember the original Sega CD is like a minute. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? This light speed like, shit all of a sudden. Listen, listen, man. I've been spoiled by NVMe too much now, <laughs> where my loading times are. Well, they're, actually, that's it's that's not true. It takes as long as it takes for them to compile OpenGL sh- shaders. But that's not the point. <laughs> but if you're making people wait, they're not going to engage with the service because people are impatient these days. Number two, before we even think about doing shit like this, maybe have some not some proliferated non shit affordable internet so that you know people have the pipe to do this instead of keeping people on freaking ADSL mm-hmm. two like the goddamn Stone Ages. Yeah, that, that's and absolutely a thing. When you think about something like this, my first thought is. We have something for in-house called the Steam Link. Mm-hmm. Uh, that shit barely works. And that's with a networked Ethernet connection. I mean, it works, but you try that shit over Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi's, you're just in for It can do 1080p 60 over Ethernet. It, it can do it. 720p 60 over Wi-Fi reasonably well, question mark. Mm-hmm. But, I, I, but I mean, it, it, to, to, be, to be fair, for Steam streaming's sake, it does work reasonably well over gigabit LAN. I, I've not run into any issues. With that. That's definitely a thing. And the main reason we want to bring this up, uh, currently their beta client works in Foxfire. So mm-hmm. uh, if you want to try it. Uh, it's got a 14 day free trial. So if you want to try it, you can. Maybe it's a good 14 day trial. The one where they don't ask for them digits because uh, they don't ask for the digits. No. All right. <laughs> That's always a good one. I got more faith in companies that do that. Um, yes. Yeah, so just some feedback. Click on that contact button. Let us know if you if you want to try it out, because chances are three of us will not get a chance to get around to it. Plus, we would rather listen to your experience. So we had some bullshit go down um, oh, earlier this uh, week. Oh, yeah. You, you got to love fundamentally broken legislation written years before the actual technology became relevant. And then they're trying to enforce these antiquated laws on new situations that they weren't ever intended for. Anyways. So, Alt Atlas, you may know them as the people behind stuff like Wild Hearts and Persona 5. They uh, sent some DMCA takedowns to the fine, fine folks at RPCS3 because uh, they're in fra- they are afraid that um, by uh, emulating PlayStation 3 binaries, uh, you may be bypassing encryption, blah, blah, blah. It's all bad in the DMCA. Basically, they don't want people to pirate their games. They're saying, oh, we're get you using emulation software. That's not allowed. We're going to send DMCA takedowns. And um, all, all this really resulted in is RPC, RPCS3 has gone and removed all of mention, all mentions of Persona 5 from their website to stop them from uh, stop Outlus from going after them. But I'm mm-hmm. curious if this is going to start a precedent, though, because like uh, with, with all these like retro console things coming out, that's gonna. They're really these companies are looking to make a ding in the in the market that is typically serviced by emulators. And the easiest way to do that is to say, well, now these emulators are illegal, so now you gotta buy our shit. 
Uh, so will the folks at Nintendo and Sony eventually decide to go after Dolphin and RPCS3? I think it's ultimately oh, very likely. Here's the thing. Sony has already tried to go after emulators and they lost. But that, that it, doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore because you can still bring a full legal weight down on a, on a, on a group of people constructing an emulator. Emulators, by definition, are – these sorts of projects are labors of love and you can't yeah. write a check that's made out to love. <laughs> no, you can't. But uh, here's the thing. The, what Atlas did, they didn't go after them specifically because they remembered that Sony tried to go after an emulator specifically and lost and had to pay all the court fees. So instead, they went after their Patreon pages. And kudos on Patreon. Uh, instead of just pulling a YouTube and nuking their pages from existence, they actually went up to them and it's like, yo, this is happening. Do something about it. We recommend you get rid of all dimensions of Persona 5 from everywhere. And they did. And Atlas now doesn't have a case anymore. Okay. Um, admit, all right. First of all, Atlas, I'm guessing Japanese game developer. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, guess who? <laughs> they don't have the PC port of this. Nope. nope. Okay. Those two things right there explains 99% of our fucking story. Dick Japanese game developer. B, refusing to release it on PC because fuck you, that's why. Um, on top of that, good job, morons. Um, Streisand effect, you know, mm -hmm. by this happened earlier in the week, but by the time Friday rolled around this week, more people knew about, um, RPCS three than ever fucking before. And they're playing your game using that goddamn emulator. You fucking morons. And, and those two Patreon pages, they tried to take down all of a sudden they got a new influx of cash. Yeah. Good yeah, job. As, as, as it turns out that. Not not only are they just doing a lot of cool stuff, they're creating they're creating a product that people actually want to use. Oh and yeah! So people are going to be willing. People are just going to pay them for it, one way or another. I mean, it's they were trying to use the DMCA to do. It's just bullshit. They were abusing the DMCA takedown, right. and that's that, that's what they going were doing. to happen uh, again. Good on Patreon. Uh, good on the Pompa Moose cats for you know kind of holding true. That's one of the reasons. Well, we're kind of behind the patrons because, I mean, they're legit. They're fair, man. You know, they just don't do the scorched earth new YouTube type bullshit. And uh, I, I guess in all fairness, man, RPCS3, we're kind of landed on thick with like, yo, hey, everyone. <laughs> Look at all of these games we can play on a platform that are not meant to be played in. Right. Yeah, that's going to ruffle some feathers. Yeah. So Jimmy's. It's, I don't know. I, I mean, this is probably, well, not probably, definitely above my pay grade and probably everyone else. So let's get on to something that, uh, humble. It's, kind it's, of it's truly it's outrageous. Like, truly, oh, truly yes. outrageous. What are we talking about? We're talking about the humble gems bundle too. It's a thing. It's out. It's all in your face. Pay what you want for, uh, really some games I'd never heard of. I'm not saying they, uh, what do we have? Count. Lucanor, Lucan Lucanor, Hustle Cat, Tattletale, pay more than the average for Pinstripe, Stay Away, pa Camp, and Apotheon, and ten bucks for Cryptarch and Has Been Heroes. Hmm. Yep. So what do we got? Five Linux games. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. Five it's not, Linux it's, it's, games. It's not, it's not a bad spread, but you're but you gotta get the pay what you want, pay uh, above the average to get the majority mm -hmm. of them. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know them, Ben. I, I agree with you. There's only one that looks vaguely interesting. Well, it's mainly because both of uh, we're history nerds and we just want to play the game, see if they get anything wrong. Um, yeah. Apothean is the wicked cool art style. It's supposed to be educational and shit. Uh, I've lasted like a day and a half and not, I, I'm going to end up buying this. I, I can't help myself, but I am probably just going to get it for that one game. So I have some, uh, keys to add to like page 13 <laughs> of my humble account of things I've never got around to redeeming, which, oh, oh, you know, yeah. just as an aside, I thought about that because I noticed today when I got back to the house from the station was um, like nine or eight games away from having 500 mm. Linux games. And I was like, why, why don't you just redeem those 200 and something games you have on humble that you've never <laughs> Well, apparently, uh, Maddie says that Slayaway Camp is pretty fun. So okay, right uh, on. Uh, the oh no, I'm totally going to get this one just because Cryptarch. It was one of those games that looked interesting when it came out on Steam, and I sent the developers an email, and they never got back to me. So yeah, I might just get it for that. 
Hmm? It, it, it's a ro- roguelike twin stick shooter. Yep. <laughs> and, anyways, um, uh, up, up, up next, it's time to get a little dry, dry your tears, Ben. Hey, man, we we're talking about wine. We're talking about wine 2.18. Uh, a couple of things, man. A radical gradients and direct 2D virtual memory write. Uh, watches improvements free type. Ooh, compatibility fixes, various bug fixes. And the one that kind of caught me, I was like, all right, seriously, somebody help me out here. Because, uh, yeah, all right, first of all, I guess we should say Mafia 2. Too slow to play. Apparently they fixed that, so it's kind of maybe sort of working. I have that in my library for some fuck all reason. It must have been in a bundle, um, yeah, so I might give that a try. Uh, then there are bug fixes for Half Life Two, and which kind of led me to wonder out loud. Fucking why? I, well, I mean, pe- pe- people still whole- play these games under under wine. I guess it's it's good so that it's feature complete, right? You can say that, hey, this game will play Half Life Two perfectly, and so on and so forth. And it's not just uh, okay. So they fixed a Half Life Two specific bug, but maybe that bug shows up in another game that doesn't have a Linux version, like say the first Left for Dead. Yeah, uh, uh, source, source two derived games that never got Linux versions. All yeah, two of them. and Al- it's a- a- alien alien swarm, <laughs> fucking, and the original yeah, Left for example. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of the same reason why Nvidia fixed that bug I was having with Never Winter Nights, the Linux native version of Never Winter Nights that came out in two thousand and three. I had a specific bug with a ten eighty where the cloaks that were introduced in version one point sixty nine were not rendering correctly, and they. I posted about it and they said, okay, that is a genuine bug. Could you give us like the API trace of that so we can track it down? Send them the API trace. The immediate uh, driver release after I made that report, they fixed it. So chances are it wasn't just an uh, an Everwinter Nights uh, bug. It was affecting other things that they hadn't accounted for. Well, Probably that, because they... It's interesting, too, because the NVIDIA drivers are a really special case, especially when it comes to dealing with wine bugs, because Mm -hmm. wine does some weird ass fucking open GL shit to make it work. And so that's going to that's going to poke at NVIDIA's implementation and expose some weird shit that they didn't necessarily (laughs) see coming. This is true. Fixing Half-Life 2 bugs. I believe we found something even more bizarre than wine. How bizarre, how bizarre. It's me, Build81. <laughs> yeah, it's the vengeance. Well, this is the um, Daggerfall re-implementation in Unity. We've been, uh, much like OpenMW before it, we've been covering this since the first version was publicly available. Hey, look, it's Pedro. And... <laughs> Sexy. It's, 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 no, it's uh, no Gale Pedro, though. There no. we go. But yeah, no, it's, uh, okay, okay. it is <laughs> exactly cool. what it says on the tin. It's the re-implementation of uh, Daggerfall in Unity. <laughs> and <laughs> no, that's an orc, which in the, the, uh, the Elder Scrolls lore is actually an elf, technically. So yeah, I guess that works. But, also, Lord yeah. of the Rings. This screen one. right here, uh, a friend of mine, Flatmate. I, I remember because he bought this game and I was like, how the fuck do you get into these types of games? And it just reminds me of his Cyrix processor, which was like 98% Intel compatible, faster than Intel at the time, though. That's why he bought it. And him pissing and screeching and moaning in his room because it would spite. This game was so spite nopey. <laughs> it is a Bethesda game, so that's to be expected. But yeah, hope, hopefully the uh, Daggerfall re-implementation will fix that and... To their credit, they've been making like <laughs> astounding yeah, yeah, It'll fix compatibility with Cyrix processors, Pedro. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I, th- I think no. he might be huffing some paint there. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, it will fix the jankiness inherent to Bethesda games. That's what I was getting at. Uh, this uh, no, don't, don't, don't built-in Unity, game. and uh, they've already managed to uh, get the main quest. You now, the moment you start the game, you get the main quest as you're supposed to, although it's not feature complete yet, which is the case with, say, OpenMW. And since OpenMW is mostly feature complete right now, might as well find a new completely insane project to talk and, about. And <laughs> and so Daggerfall is actually free. You can get it off the Elder Scrolls website along with the original mm-hmm. Elder Scrolls Arena. 
So, I mean, this this is really a thing if you don't want to fire up DOSBox to play it and or virtualize FreeDOS because you're a weirdo and don't mm. want to virtualize FreeDOS for some reason. But, you know, it, it's definitely a thing. Uh, U- Unity is a questionable choice, but hey, if it works, it works. Yeah, man. Um, so here's the thing. I remember, I don't know if it was last week or maybe a week before that. Somebody was like, man, we need more MMORPGs on Linux. Okay, mm-hmm. done. How about even better? How about uh, one that's open source? You don't see a lot like of those, do you? But it, this is one uh, such example. It's Damon and... Yeah, no, the Damon, Damon and Sons. Yeah, yeah, I, was correct. yeah see, I, I, I thought it was named after like the Mayhem song, but I guess I was wrong about that. Uh, the, don't know. Yeah. O- o- only Strider gets that joke. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, no, I downloaded it. The installer works fine, at least on uh, uh, 1604 LTS. And the one thing that it did that really genuinely bugged me is that I have two uh, monitors in a single X screen. It, it's uh, it, yeah, NVIDIA used to call it Twin View. Now it's just called the Extended X screen. Uh, so you may remember that SDL 1.2 liked to... When you have a uh, monitor configuration such as mine, it would disable one of them and just have the active monitor uh, be resized to whatever the game's full screen resolution was. Well, this game does that. I'm not entirely sure if it's still using SDL 1.2 or if it's just a really bad custom engine, but this game does that. And the kicker is it resizes your screen to 800 by 600. Well, you if you're going that's to a default kicker, to that I... lower resolution, put it in a window. Here's the thing. I, I think this should just be general rule of your thumb organ is if you're using SDL and it doesn't start with two, you should default in windowed mode. Yeah. Period. And or, the, or, start, or start using uh, Mr. Alert's um, projects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. SDL 1.2 to 2.0. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, so I, I mentioned this a little bit in the in the... In, in between bits. But this game does something I find really annoying where they make you download an installer script that basically has the archive built in, except it doesn't, it didn't seem to work for me. And I tried poking at it. I tried opening it up and I just couldn't give a fuck because I don't really care about MMOs. But really, guys, just ma- make it a tarball. Let me extract it. If you need to update files, keep it in like a directory within that arc directory tree. And just download stuff there, guys. It's it's not that hard. I don't need uh, this. Isn't Windows? I don't need .exe files. Yeah, yeah. There's probably a reason no one. There's not a whole lot of people using. Well, that's the reason is actually Steam because Steam just made installing games on Linux that easy. <laughs> hmm. oh, yeah, e- <laughs> the sad thing is, even on Windows, you still need to install random exes to make your game. Oh yeah, no. Uh, every single game you install uh, from Steam on Windows installs its own version of DirectX, its own version of Microsoft Visual C, and its own version and, of .NET. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's 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 a little fucky, but yeah, but j- just as a general note, Linux developers, can we move away from this and just you know, we we tend to our, our ilk tends to know what we're doing, so just give us a direct, give us a tarball. That's all we ask. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so coming up next, uh, we we get screamed at, and then stuff explodes. Stay tuned for more details about that. I think we're all pretty big fans of Crow Team over here, mm-hmm. and I find oh, yeah. it kind of weird that this is actually the first serious Sam game we're throwing chairs at. Um, it's not the first Crow Team game, though. That would be uh, Talos Principle. But anyways, mm-hmm. uh, this is we're throwing some chairs at. Bog- serious Sam's Bogus Detour. It's developed by Crackshell, published by Crow Team. It's on a custom C++ Angel, Angel Script engine, and it's about 10 to $15 of your local particular currency. What is it? Battle through beautiful Mediterranean locales, dangerous biological weapons labs, and even high-tech moon bases, with no Nazis, by the way, as a one-man wrecking crew or in four-player online cooperative mode for maximum chaos. Dominate the survival and versus modes or make your own mods, modes, and even total conversions with the game editor. Serious Sam's Bogus Detour is the biggest little Serious Sam game ever made. This was on sale for dirt cheap, so we all picked up a copy. Uh, you guys don't know what the chairquisition is. We give this, we give games a bit of a review. We do a bit of QA on them that maybe their developers didn't uh, think about doing, and we give you the full picture from the top down. So one chair means that it's crap. Two chairs means meh. Three chairs means that it's pretty good. Four chairs means it's maze balls, and we apply those to our categories of doom. 
makes Thor King shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So, Ven, mm -hmm. did it make with Thor King? Hey, man, uh, this is the fun part. This is the big part of the QA, because we're going to be testing this on Kumbuntu, Kumbuntu, and Fedora, which is always yeah. fun and exciting. <laughs> I will be using Solus at some point. Not yet. No, oh, okay. You just got to wait for the check to clear. Got it. Um, <laughs> over here on 1704, running kernel 413. Uh, basically, man, every, everything kind of ran out of the box. I didn't have any issues like you had, Jordan. Um, okay. You know, really, the two th no Vulcan render. Jeez, I could <laughs> barely run it. That was a bit disappointing. And uh, ye the one thing I learned is hit hitting uh, restart. And I... This is not a bug, but come on, fuck me, right? Uh, what wipes your damn save and starts you back at the beginning? Ooh, fun. Yeah, yeah it I, does I, the, I didn't uh, really have like too many issues with that with this game, other than the fact that it crashes on exit, and also it spawns a lot of pulse audio syncs. <laughs> it's not the first game to do that. Uh, it's I think it's still we've annoying. Actually, thrown chairs at one game specifically that did that, and it was really annoying. But ever since, well, ever since I moved to the UK. I don't have speakers plugged into this box, so I disabled the internal uh, sound device, and I only have the headset. I don't know, man. I, you see, I, I find that my life has gotten a lot simpler now that I don't look at Pavu control, because <laughs> you're like, what the holy hell, really? Uh, with a lot of games, you know, especially when they, like, spool up the entire 5.1. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. You can control each individual driver if your uh, sound system supports it. You can control each individual one's volume. It's like, whoa. Yeah, I, I don't really have that advanced the sound system here. I just got like the mixer, some cheapo Logitech speakers, and that's it. Um, but I mean, yeah, every, everything works. I don't think this game like really would affect any of our systems. I mean, I don't know. The, I, I got the i7 with i6 700k with the 980. Then you got the 1700x Ryzen with the 980. Uh, regular 1800. Or 1700. I, well, it's it's overclocked have, yeah. to be equivalent to a 1700x. Uh, it, it beats a 1700x. Yeah. So the, <laughs> there you go. My point stands. Any, anywho, and Pedro, you got a 1080. So, I mean, yep. yeah. like this, 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 Even with no, the no, FX8370, it ran stupidly well. Oh, yeah. Four like, chairs across the board here. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, four chairs. So that that's four chairs for mixed with the working. How about shiny and sounds? Moving the panel on. Um, did it make with the produce for you, P baby? Uh, yeah, it did. Um, uh, I don't like the hipster pixel bullshit. Mm -hmm. I I think I that, that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who has been watching. Uh, our um cherry acquisition, as it's called. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it doesn't get four chairs for me specifically because of the bullshit hipster pixels uh it hasn't gone back around for me yet so the sounds on the other hand this sounds like a proper Siri sam game it's, oh they, uh, they nailed it point. they nailed it with no, like, they did. Yeah. both of you are yeah. high quit quit doing drugs kids uh yeah, they say, did. say no to crack um no 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 <laughs> and uh, honest honestly like i would have honestly given this about two chairs if not for the mellifluous voice of mr sam stone i oh, heard that and off. then that lizard part of my brain's like okay yeah we, we can we can kind of get into this all I, of the uh, sound effects were stupidly horrible on say, point. Even, all right, all right, uh, the background noise i had to nope it even worse yeah it sounds yeah they had serious sam voice samples in there and holy fuck did it sound like it was the original voice samples all scratchy and rah, rah, rah. it didn't sound yeah, good yeah uh, i i think he definitely recorded that like over the phone i, f I forget <laughs> i forget who actually voices uh sam we'll pull that up later um but i mean ever it looks like a top-down serious sam game you have all like the nars and the clears and the rocket launcher dudes like they all they all look like they would if they were 2D hipster pixel versions of their 3D counterparts. I, I can't really yeah. fault it for that. I'm, I'm just going to give it three chairs. I think that's that's solid. Yeah, I, I give it three chairs. It can't get the fourth because bullshit hipster pixel. I am definitely going to say, I mean, it looks the part, but I can't tell whether or not I... I my, my brain's doing the translation when I'm seeing this. I'm like, oh, that's supposed to be this. Oh, this is supposed to be this. Some of it is a little bit lost. Um... It looks all right. It's not lazily done at all. So, yeah, I, I'm going to give it two. It's got sounds in it that technically shows up on the screen. I'm not as impressed as you guys, man. 
just like, 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 like I said, this is a pure lizard brain reaction. But mm. yeah, two, that, that would be about two cheers for the uh, shiny in the sense. For controls, however, you'd think that like a game like this would play well with a controller, but you'd be wrong. The controller support is, yeah, Ven, you, you mentioned it, and it's pretty, you're spot on with your assessment that it's really tacked on. You got to use WAS for this. Oh, man. Um, I really do believe that somebody said, shit, we, we need to put uh, controller support in this. And it was an a- afterthought, like, uh, how long do I have to do it? 40 minutes. And because um, I'm thinking, you're looking at this because this is a twin stick game. You run around, you go pew, pew, pew. That, that's what you're doing. It's serious Sam, top down, 2D. That's what this shit's made for. It's made to pl- sit back, relax, play in a goddamn couch, bitches. And um, it's complete rubbish with the x controller. Uh, it's no better with the dual shock, dude. Uh, I finally just today, it's like, well, fuck it. I'm gonna try it with a keyboard and dribble. Holy fuck, all did I feel like I was playing in cheat mode, man? I just like I had a game oh, shark plugged it's, in. It's not a day, especially when you get like surrounded. It's nice to just be able to like fire and swirl swir- your mouse around like a freaking idiot. Um, yeah, no, honestly, I think that's kind of to the detriment of this game. I, I would agree that this thing needs some decent controller support so that it could be fun really? on the couch. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, really. No, not really. This is a shooter with Sirius Sam as a protagonist. What the hell did you expect This is a use? top town twin stick shmup. Is a yeah. shooter with Sirius Sam as a protagonist. You play with I, the I, I mean, I, I could, I can make mouse. a shooter with Pac-Man. Yes, yes, Pedro. Ex- Elvis didn't do no drugs. I understand. <laughs> no, seriously. I only played this with the mouse and keyboard because, as my argument, it's a shooter with Sirius Sam as a protagonist. Guess what? I didn't have any issues. It's fine. Yes, I, don't, if, if, I honestly if you're, if you're, don't. If you're using get... a keyboard and mouse, yes, it's perfectly fine. If you don't want to use one, though, then it's shit. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. <laughs> then again, you shouldn't be playing games on your computer if you don't want to use a keyboard and mouse. Uh, you heard I'm, it here I'm, first, I'm sorry, ladies and I've, gentlemen. I've built um, a Steam box to plug Pedro into my Pedro is solely like, responsible for killing Steam machines. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. It's 100% Pedro's fault. Blame him. Send your hate mail to Pedro. So listen, man, I'm definitely going to roll it back. I'm going to throw it too. Um, simply right, put, it because, you know, it technically it works. Uh, but this is something I personally want to play with the controller. And I think a lot of people might be thinking like me and be sorely disappointed. I, I mean, for the actual intent, for the properly designed control in the keyboard and mouse, yeah, it definitely gets three chairs. Uh, not enough to ding it to because ding it down to two because the game is technically playable with the uh, controller. It's just kind of bad. Anyways, let's yeah, let's yeah. Uh, let's move up. So that that brings it to three chairs for control. Let's let's uh, put a bow on it. Then did you have fun playing the bogus encounter, bogus detour? Um, I, I know I'm alone here. So here we go. I really tried to give a damn about this man. Uh, I don't. I don't. I wanted to like it. Tried so hard. Tried so. Uh, tried so hard. Tried what so is far. it? Uh, nothing really mattered or something. I don't know. DBZ anime music video for way back in the day. Um, MPs, man. It got the sand bits right, didn't it? Yeah. I, I, yeah. And that, that, that did. So here, for for me at least, it's it's a toss up because I hate shoot 'em up bullet helps, mm-hmm. but I really like serious Sam, and there's mm-hmm. just enough Sam crammed in there. To trick my brain into actually kind of enjoying this, because it- uh, it's not just the Sam for me. Because uh, it's one of those very few games I played on the original PlayStation, and I didn't have one, so it was mostly at friends' places. Uh, it was called Loaded. It reminded me of that game so much. Uh, now, to be fair, back in the day, Loaded didn't exactly have the hipster pixel uh, graphics by choice. It was kind of what the technology would allow for the game that they were trying to make. And this game brings me back to that same, very same mindset. And I, maybe that's the reason I ended up giving it the most chairs, but I still didn't give it the perfect score because there you can't save the game. That's oh, a real yeah, no, that, that, that's, that's one of the big problems is that the same, the same system here is garbage. It's just yeah. so bad. I, I, I would like to be able to save it in the middle of the game. Well, I mean, you, you can save at any point in the game, but when you load it, it will just start you up at the beginning of the level, which is super annoying. It is mm-hmm. kind of annoying, and I I got, I got a bad, bad case of the sads when 
my game got wiped because it just said, hey, restart. And I was like, yeah, let's just restart this level instead of, oh, nope, didn't restart the level. Started back at the very beginning of the game. Oh, so, oh yeah. That, that tutorial is not fun either. Right? Yeah. Every, every, time, every time you nope. You got to go through that again. It's like, guys, I know how to play the game. And it's overhead Sam. I mean, it, it's bullet hell. It, it makes it very clear. That's what serious Sam is. No matter in how many dimensions you throw at it. Uh, BFE, serious Sam one, serious Sam two, serious Sam three. Um, yeah, it's just bullet hell. And your yeah. strategy is, is to find a choke point, run backwards, then nope them. Once you get them set up, uh, it just didn't click with me guys. I, I don't know why. I tried to. I really wanted it to. Maybe in multiplayer it would have been better. Jordan, you got to play in some multiplayer, right? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't get any multiplayer in. Uh, I, 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 well, I want. I wanted to test it uh, in the after show, which we might do. We maybe. might. We'll... But but anyways, like yeah, I, I I agree with you. In any, you can make the argument that in any dimension, Serious Sam is bullet hell. But I mean, my my distaste for bullet hell maybe Serious Sam is the exception. But here, when it's explicitly so. It's a lot harder for me to like derive enjoyment from there. Like I like I said, there's enough Sam in here to trick my brain into having a good time. But I at the end of the day, I just feel rather like lukewarm about it. Mm. I honestly I like it, but that's because even though I know I'm not very good at roguelikes and roguelites, uh I'm not. But I like them. For some reason, I really like the, the, them. And the, this this isn't a roguelike. It's not procedurally generated. Yes, it's not procedurally generated, but it has the permadeath thing where it literally nukes your progress and makes you start from well we uh, should also point out it comes with a bunch of mutators including like health regen infinite lives and it it comes with a full level editor that i did not play around with but Mm -hmm. it's it's nice to see games that do that it's like oh hey here's some tools make some cool content yeah like those teeny tiny elements were actually something i very much enjoyed and Okay, sure, the hips, the hips or pixels are still very much there. I guess that's something we have to live with in 2017. But, okay, it's hips or pixel, but the sounds are... It sounds like a Serious Sam game. It plays very much like you would expect a top-down uh, Serious Sam game, which for me also means plays a lot like Loaded uh, did back in the day. And I wish I'd had more time to play it during the week, but I didn't. Still, it doesn't get four chairs because of the uh, the save games. It doesn't save yeah. the game at all. So Okay, so at the end of the day, you threw through it. Uh, I, 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 gave, I gave it two. You gave it two. I gave it three. Hey, man, uh, I gave it one. Maybe multiplayer will change my mind. Maybe I'll have to come back and do an update to the review. <laughs> um, but yeah, single player mode, especially with this thing clocking in at fourteen ninety nine. dollars I, I, I will say though, you get a lot of game with this though, because the levels are yeah. huge. Yeah, the levels are pretty. I big. think you just get a lot of pixelated frustration with this. <laughs> pixelated frustration is the name of my Japanese porn company that I fund. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, you gave it one. So that totals out to about two chairs for the fun section and two for the final score. It's so a strider. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a strider. Not sure if you want. I, if you're into top-down shooters. I would give this one a recommendation. If you like Serious Sam, definitely check it out. Um, yeah, you're like, I, I mean, fortunately, most games in the chair acquisition can get a two. A two means yes. you tried. A I two mean, means you definitely have a game that could, in theory, be enjoyed by a subset of people. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's one of the things with the QA thing you will be able to run it on your system sufficiently enough in order to form your own opinion, as you should. A hundred percent sure about that. All right, so coming up next, we got some uh, hate mail. Someone cries some somber tears of grief. I don't know. I was trying to be poetic and I failed. Fuck it! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you'd like to join the discussion on how we can improve the, uh... Oh, turns out I forgot to turn on some lights. Hold on. There we go. And Uh, then he catches fire, folks. (laughs) (laughs) The aristocrats. Um, If you'd like to help us improve our SEO when it comes to completely random terms and having them come back to LinuxGameCast.com, you can do that. How? Well, throw us your suggestions. Go to LinuxGameCast.com itself, hit the contact button, fill out the form. But 
there are some new things that Ven was kind of busy doing over the week. Now we have multiple different topics that you can um, contact us to, you know, just uh, have your... Uh, what what, what do you think, Jordan? Maybe I should just throw one in there as like elf boogers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking human sales. <laughs> so besides uh, Linux Gamecast Weekly, what we're doing right now, LWDW, that thing Ben and I do in the middle of the week, uh, you also have reviews. So if you're a game developer, you want us to review your game, or if you're a watcher, listener, whatever, and you have a specific request for a review for a game, let us know. Just pick a review on that one. Uh, although if you are a developer, you should still send us keys, a build we can share among the three of us, something like that. Because if not, the old rule still applies. You get to be made fun of. And the other, well, that's just the other. Are you a white walker? Use that one. It's racist. <laughs> listen, l- 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 listen, man, dragons are people too. Even Wait, you know, I guess technically all Canadians are white walkers. Yeah, that's 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 just super racist, man. All what right, the fuck? wait, 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 come on, man. Real talk: Is there any part of Canada that doesn't have snow? Vancouver. Yeah. Damn it! Technicality. All right. <laughs> um. Uh, so this this is from Four Skeen. This first hate mail. He says, "Then what happened to the somber mood? Bring back the darkness. There's too much light. It hurts my poor eye pussies. Celebrate I prefer break good times. Yeah, he, 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 Mr. Forskeen says he prefers Ven as the Prince of Darkness, not the bright, sparkling wannabe vampire. Okay, let, let's be real for a second. Ven is actually the inspiration for the Twilight vampires because yeah. he reflects all the light off him when he goes outside." White Peace Among Worlds work better in the white shot. <laughs> in stereo. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll say the new, the new setup Ben has has taken a little bit of getting used to. I like, to, I like being able to, like, see his face. He's very handsome. I like being able to look at it. Um, it's, it's a little further off now, so I gotta, I gotta squint. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. What about you, Pedro? What do you, what do you think of the new setup? Uh, much like you, Jordan, the last week, I don't really have a dog in this horse, so... I would, I okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Prince of Dark. The fuck? <laughs> He's trying but, to say... Listen, listen, uh, listen, man. Popeye's chicken is the shiznit. It is the shiznit. No. All right. Real, real talk. Popeye's, give us a call. We're about, totally up about, for that. About eating oh, 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 dude! If you want to give us free fried chicken, dude, I'm I'm on board. Yeah. <laughs> Not only will Jordan die, um, <laughs> it will that be too. glorious. Hey, man, um, we kind of had to put some lights down here. Um, that's a thing because there's no overhead lighting whatsoever, and I I've been lit thanks to Jill and Steve, and thanks to um Michael G. Uh, for Two or three months now, so you need to watch the show more often, young person, human. No, um, no, uh, you see, I think he was actually giving you the benefit of the doubt. It's like, no, he's going to go back to his old ways. He will return, and he held out for like two months. No, he, uh, he's, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's expecting you to move the studio back upstairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how how dark do you want it to be? All right. Y'all motherfuckers need to shut the hell up because I know what your answer is going to be. But you kind of you, you kind of want to finish a fucking sentence, motherfucker. Now let me I get it out. It. Um, <laughs> you, you want some decent lighting when you have a plate glass desk that is black. Just say it. That's man. racist. <laughs> no, what I could have said after that would have been racist. Yet I chose not to. <laughs> Got to gotta, gotta keep a finger on that Spock button, man. Finger on the Spock button. It's definitely a thing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because I think on that bombshell, let's cue the music. You can always find us around 930 Eastern time. I know Linux Nero in Space Tanzania couldn't figure it out when he clicked on the video and it told him how much longer it was. But that's all you got to do, man. Blow us up on the YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Smash that subscribe button, fam. Click the ringy bell of fuck you because that's why, because then you'll get the alerts. Or as the patrons know, you know, before we go live, if we do a special live stream like we did Friday, you will get an alert in our Discord chat of business. Um, 
that's the thing. Get in touch with me at Vin Stone on Twitter. Search Vin Stone. I'm on the G pluses. You already know all that business. It's legit. I'm Jordan Spung. You can find me slapping people's hands just away from the keyboard so that they can't actually finish sentences that they type on the internet on Twitter at the burning pool on that plus Jordan Spung on Google+. <laughs> You will find me not doing any such things. In fact, I will expect you to throw all of the bullshit you could muster at me, be it at unaccounted for on Twitter or plus but it was on Google Plus, and chances are I've probably done something to deserve it. Probably. That definitely seems legit. And um Hey man, uh Did you forget to do the credits again? I didn't have time to do the credits, so fuck oh. you. <laughs> I mean, how so, about... so so we're gonna do them cruise line? Is it anyway style, or we're just gonna make Pretty them? Much. Well, no. Every, if you you stay tuned, um, watch the produced version of this because when I forget to do them now, I key them out, so it's just the text flying over us. Mm-hmm. So that that. Whoa, so whoa, you whoa, can tell whoa, whoa, we're bu- we're buying you some time because we don't we don't exactly know how long the credits roll. Well, Ben knows how long the credits yeah, roll. We, know. Don't fucking, uh, we, 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 we don't. We we don't fucking know. Man. We're basically here bullshitting for as long as all the lovely people who keep giving us money scroll by. <laughs> and uh, yeah. we're not complaining. Hashtag, Genuinely hashtag not complaining. give us more money. You'll, you'll $10,000 $10, an episode. We go to fucking Kansas. You want to see this. We'll die, but you want to see this. So, so maybe, maybe we need Pretty to do much. it for like, um, like 5000 We just moved to like Maine. <laughs> uh, and Stephen King shows up. Oh, it's great. We, we get to sing. Zombie Stephen King. <laughs> He's not dead. Yes. You will be. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>